Hey guys, Namaste and Konnichiwa, and welcome to my first video. And this is going to be an intro video of myself, so let's get started. So, first, I'm gonna go with my name. So, my name is Ishita, and I'm from India and currently living in Japan. I am not excited at all living in Japan because it's so hard, it's so difficult to live in here. But we can do anything. Destiny is destiny. We can change our destiny. So yeah, maybe it is my destiny. So, so anyways. Uh, came to Japan in 2022, November, oh not November, August, yeah, August 2022, and it's 2024, yeah, Happy New Year, guys, it's not a Happy New Year, but yeah, Happy New Year. So, when I came in Japan, I couldn't speak Japanese, not a little bit then like there's a teacher there's a foreigner teacher who teaches us and like give interview so we can go to like school in japanese school not language school japanese school so i passed the interview you know i'm slay so i passed the interview so now right now i am in japanese school not the language school it's a japanese school like a full japanese school and i should have been in second not third grade right now but i'm in second grade right now but it's my destiny that's what i say yeah i can't do anything but it's okay because after third year we have high school so it was it is going to be so difficult for me so the teacher said it is difficult for you to be in third grade so you should go in second grade instead when i came here there was an english homeroom teacher which what is homeroom teacher in english it is homeroom teacher but if we simply say it's class teacher yeah my class teacher can at that time my class teacher can speak english so if i have like a little doubt or i have to ask something so i could ask him and it was like not that difficult at that time but when i became nina and say that is called second grade my teacher changed my homeroom teacher changed and he couldn't speak English. He cannot speak English and it's so difficult for me and for him to understand. Like we can't understand each other what we are saying. So it's so difficult. When I was in first grade, like I couldn't like even even understand like a word, but now when i became nina and say that is second grade is i told you when i became the nina and say uh i heard a lot of words i heard a lot of sentences i hear a lot of stuff that is going around me I listen them, I focused on them, what are they saying? So now I can understand a little bit of Japanese, like I can communicate a little bit because of that. And I had no foreigner friend when I came in 2022. So I think that is the biggest, like, how do, how do I express? It was so difficult. Like, I can just express this word. It was difficult. It was a hard time at that time. I didn't have foreigner friends at that time. So it was so hard for me to, you know, understand. Or I was like just silent. I was just like, I was like a silent student. That 
I was not in India, but what can I say? What can I say? So yeah, I can't say anything. So yeah, at that time I can't speak anything. So I was like always silent in the class. I'm just seeing the teacher, what he's saying. Uh, and was like, mm, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. But I can't understand anything. But when I became Nina and say, uh, like it was a little better. It was like getting better. My communication skills was getting better and the writing skill also is getting better. So right now I'm in Nina and say, uh, and I can't, uh, and I can't understand a little bit of Japanese. Like, and I can communicate with my friends like a little bit, not that much, but communication is like getting better day by day but yeah uh, but I can't I can't understand anything like related to subjects I cannot understand anything maths science Japanese social studies and English is also difficult why is it so difficult because the English is not full English. It's like half in Japanese, half in English. So like how can you understand Japanese? And if you cannot understand Japanese, you can't write the English. So it's so difficult, it's so hard. And like, oh my God, maths is so difficult. Like maths, oh my God, maths is so difficult. Like you, if you understand a one question, then it's like there's the same formula for the second question too but and you're like oh what do i have to do oh am i doing it wrong it's like this so math is so difficult and for science i will say it's like same comparing to india india's science is also the same and japanese science is also same yeah and social studies is also the same social studies was difficult in india too and in here too and we have japanese class that i cannot understand a bit oh my god i cannot understand it. like my japanese class not a little bit like it's like this i'm listening and this listening this listening like it's so difficult like what do you want me to do like i'm just sitting in front of teacher and doing this what can i do what can i say what can i ask if i have a doubt how how should i ask it's so hard like sometimes i got so frustrated because of my japanese class and i cannot I cannot understand like a little bit, not a word they're saying. <sighs> but anyways, right now I'm in Ninense. That means I'm in eighth class. Yep, I'm in eighth class. Yeah, I should have been in ninth class. But it's okay it's my destiny that was it for today's video this was my little intro and uh, from my next videos i'm gonna show you guys what am i going to show you guys i don't know but we are going to make videos from now on so right now I'll say bye to you guys and this was it for today's video and thank you for watching if you like my video or if you like my intro please like comment share and subscribe to my channel and stay safe stay healthy and stay happy thank you for watching bye bye
Oh, it's so good. I recommend it. It's a 9 out of 10.